Hey guys, Dasko here. This is my Battlefield 4 multiplayer wish list top 5. Let's get right into it. At number 5, I know you guys know that I like guns. And gun comparisons. Remember that time I did the G3A3? Remember that time I did the Mark 11 Mod Zero? I like my battle rifles. And so, the battle rifle I want to see in Battlefield 4 multiplayer is none other than the right arm of the free world, the FNFAL. This battle rifle rocks. It is one of my favorite battle rifles to shoot. It's got that great balance of ergonomics and handling. It is just a fantastic rifle. I want to see it in Battlefield 4. I don't care if it's an unlocked or a default or whatever it may be, but I want it. It's awesome. At number four, very appropriate for this armor code footage, I want camos, but not camos for your guns. No, 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 I want camos for my tanks. And here's the thing, with the rumors that you're gonna be able to play as the PLA, or the People's Liberation Army, aka China, why not bring in some Chinese camos, right? You got your greens, you got your digi, you even got your blues, and you're like, wait, Dasgro, you're going to be blue and a tank, everyone's going to see you. I don't care. Still going to get those shots on you, and then you're going to be mad because you got killed by a big Pepsi can. At number three, I want spectator tools. Real deal spectator tools. Not just a free cam where your scary ghosts kind of moving around, spooky stuff. No, I want the real deal. I want to be able to see everyone's perspectives playing in game. I want to experience the same thing that the person I'm viewing is experiencing. I want to see it from first person, I want to see it from third person, I want to have all the stats and metadata behind them actually playing, which means an API that you can access and modify. It means being able to take all that data and put it into things. Uh, levelbf.com has already created sort of a web-based interface where you can actually see what's happening in real time in a given match. That's pretty cool. The community's already doing this stuff, already doing free cam, already doing 2D spectator mode. The only thing we need now is a little bit more support. I want to see a battle recorder, a demo recorder. I want to see a spectator mode. I want to be able to have that experience of actually being in the game and seeing all the live action unfold and be able to share it with you. At number two, I want a more balanced gameplay experience. Do you know what separates Battlefield from other multiplayer games? It's the fact that you have different classes and different assets that all, all hard counters against one another. What I mean by this, it's rock, paper, scissors. It's rock beats scissors. Scissors beat paper. Paper beats rock. It means that a tank is really good against infantry. But a tank is really not that good against jets. Jets are really good against helicopters, but they're really not that good against infantry. You see that as we go through this big circle of counters, we get this sort of uh, balancing act that comes through it. You as a player can make that choice and say, I need to go engineer because the tanks are really, really killing us and we gotta kill that tank. Or you can go support class and say, I need to put mortar down so I can mortar the enemy positions. Try to weed them out, to decimate them a bit. Now, in that first example, really viable. Actually works in Battlefield 3. But in Battlefield 3, mortars, uh, not so much. The thing is, we need to have a viable experience for all classes and all vehicles. And this balancing act is not easy. It is a work in progress done by the community and the developers. And it's something that has to be done within a certain focus. One cannot simply balance the game for 3 2 versus 3 2 play and expect that same balancing act that's created, all those different variables that are tweaked, to also work for small 4v4 squad rush gameplay. Emphasis has to be done on certain gameplay and game types, and the vehicles also have to be incorporated as well in some respect or another. A game where there is a tank but only one tanker for that tank is a completely different game compared to that if you have three tankers in that crew. That tank operates completely different, it's a whole lot more powerful. How do you balance that if you have some gameplay that's only a small team size, or 10v10 or less, and much larger ones, 3 2 versus 32? It's difficult to do this, and I don't have the answers for it, but it needs to be continually emphasized and focused and refined. It is not a check the box. It is a process that it takes years, years to improve. At number one, I want to start with a rhetorical question. I want you to think about this. When do you experience your favorite Battlefield moments? If you're in a server and the teams are balanced, there's only a few tickets remaining, but it's so close. 
You guys are fighting as a squad. You're playing the objective. You're fighting it out, and you're getting destroyed by an enemy tank, but your teammates and you coordinate and attack that tank, blow it up. You have the opportunity to win. You rush that objective, but you go down. You're dead. And as the seconds pass, a little bit of hope goes away. But the last moment you get revived, and your squad takes that MCOM, and you win the game. Your heart's pounding, your hands are shaking, but you've just experienced what keeps you playing Battlefield. You've played the game as it was meant to be played. For many of you, this is not a regular occurrence. But what if it was? How could Battlefield 4 make this happen? Let's break down this experience. You were played on a server with even number of teams. All the players had approximately the same amount of experience, some better than others. Everyone was playing the objective, and it was a close, even match. To put it another way, it was a fair, balanced, and organized game. That's all it was. Which leads me to my number one request. I want a ladder-based matchmaking system. Now, I know a lot of you are already wincing at that idea, but hear me out. We start out with an ELO rating system, which is a metric of calculating the relative skill of one player versus another in an organized match. You start with this ELO rating system, and you apply it to players, to squads, and to platoons, and as they play one another, better players will continue to play against better players, and other players who are around the same skill set will continue to play others in their same skill set. By creating a ladder system that is multi-tiered, almost like StarCraft II with Grandmasters versus Bronze League, the highest of the highest skill set to the lowest of the average skill set, you can create these experiences where by simply clicking on a Find Match button, not only are you playing in a match where you're playing against people that are approximately of your same skill set, but on top of this, you're going to have a better gameplay experience. You're going to have these close, intense, amazing matches. If you are a better player, you will continue to play against better players. It no longer becomes, oh, my team sucks, or oh, this team that I played against, they are so bad, this is so easy, I'm getting bored. No, you will always be playing against competent players of your similar skill set and have a better experience in the process. Every game will be a PTFO game. Every game will be one where you are squatting up with other players of your same skill set. Now, this is not an exclusive thing. This is simply an option within Battlelog. But by doing this, it creates a new avenue for people to play the game and experience the game, for people to get more out of it, to play the game longer, because they now have competition to play against. It's no longer I join a random server and hope that I have a good time. It is I am going to play Battlefield and have a good time, be it I'm 50 hours in or 1,000 hours in. And take in mind, this is not a I'm an individual playing in a match. You can play as a squad, you can play as a team, as a platoon. We have platoons already. I want these platoons to play against each other. I want to create this sense of community and camaraderie because at its core, Battlefield is a team game. I want us to really play and experience team games, not just a I'm in a server and I happen to have teammates. I want to have a team game experience. When you take into consideration the idea of having spectator tools such as dimmer recorders or free cam with a balanced gameplay experience and organized matches, not only are you going to experience more Battlefield moments regularly, you're going to have more fun doing it, you're going to want to play the game more, you're going to experience the game how it was meant to be played and further share the experience with others and not just for lulls but also to learn more about how to play the game, to better understand how players better than us play the game different from us, as well as help others who may not be as skilled as us, but show them what they can do to improve themselves. Remember, organized ladder matches, it's not just about the pros, it's about everyone. Everyone can experience these battlefield moments. Everyone can play the game and have fun, and can seek out how Battlefield is meant to be played. These are my top five wishes for Battlefield 4 multiplayer, but I want to hear your wish list. My wish list could change, and as new facts come out, 
I will be updating this and we'll be amending it accordingly. I'm going to take the top five or so suggestions and I'm going to uh, make a video out of them. So I want you guys to put your suggestions below in the comments. Anything goes, and I mean anything goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys later. Bro, I like my battle rifles, and so the battle rifle I want to see in Battlefield 4 multiplayer is none other than the right arm of the free world, the FNFAL. This battle rifle rocks. It is one of my favorite battle rifles to shoot. It's got that great balance of earth camos for my tanks. And here's the thing, with the rumors that you're going to be able to play as the PLA, or the People's Liberation Army, aka China, why not bring in some Chinese camos, right? You got your greens, you got your digi, you even got ergonomics and handling. It is just a fantastic rifle. I want to see it in Battlefield 4. I don't care if it's an unlock or a default or whatever it may be, but I want it. It's awesome. At number four, very appropriate for this armor code footage, I want camos, but not camos for your guns. No, 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 I want... Hey guys, Dasco here. This is my Battlefield 4 multiplayer wish list top five. Let's get right into it. At number five, I know you guys know that I like guns and gun comparisons. Remember that time I did the G3A3? Remember that time I did the Mark 11 Mod Zero? Got your blues, and you're like, wait, Dasgro, you're gonna be blue and a tank, everyone's gonna see ya. I don't care. Still gonna get those shots on ya, and then you're gonna be mad, because you got killed by a big Pepsi can. At number three, I want spectator tools. Real deal spectator tools.